In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five amazing facts with you about the Great Danes. So let's get started with this video. Welcome back to the Great Dane channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Great Dane. So if you're a lifelong Great Dane lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Great Dane video. So let's get into today's video where we'll be exploring five amazing facts about the Great Dane. Despite the name, the Great Dane isn't from Denmark, rather they originate from Germany. In 1876, they were officially named the National Dog of Germany. Back at the end of the 1500s, the Duke of Braunschweig is said to have taken hordes of Great Danes out to hunt boars. This game needed powerful, intelligent and tenacious dogs to take down vicious prey. Unlike the comical, floppy aesthetic that Great Danes have today, their ears were historically cropped to prevent them tearing when hunting powerful prey. German nobles were so impressed with the breed that they bought the best dogs to keep them for themselves. They were then used as guard dogs and ultimately as companions. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the world's tallest dog record is held by a Great Dane. In 2008, a remarkable dog was born in Michigan, USA, and he was called Zeus. Zeus grew to be a certified therapy dog and then in 2012 he was crowned with the title of the world's tallest dog. At only four years old he stood at 44 inches at his shoulders. The average Great Dane is around 32 inches. And if that isn't impressive enough, on his hind legs Zeus stood at an insane 7 foot 4 inches. Unfortunately, just shy of his sixth birthday, Zeus passed away from natural causes. The general rule of thumb tends to be that the bigger the dog, the shorter the lifespan, which leads us to our next fact. Unfortunately, the Great Dane has one of the shortest life expectancies. On average, they only live between six to ten years. But keep in mind that a ten-year-old Great Dane has never been documented. The oldest documented Great Dane is from the UK, and his name's Freddy. Freddy's currently eight. If you want to keep up with his life and how he's getting on, he does have his own Instagram, Freddy Great Dane. Maybe he holds the key on how we can help this great breed enjoy life a little bit longer. It hardly seems fair that smaller breeds can last at least twice as long. It isn't yet clear why one of the biggest dog breeds has such short lifespans. In other species, size means longevity. The African elephant and blue whales, for example, can both reach around 80 years of age. It's almost as if the Great Dane lived through their adult years in fast motion. The gangly puppy to teenage years can sometimes last up to two years, giving them only four to five years of adulthood at most. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. Despite the joy of a Great Dane being a short-lived privilege, there are the 15th most popular breed in the USA. Now this is out of hundreds of recognized breeds according to the American Kennel Club. When you take a look at their temperament, there really isn't a surprise. They have a long list of redeeming qualities. They've come a long way from being capable of hunting and taking down boars in the German countryside. The Great Dane is now coined as the Gentle Giant. They make beautiful additions to the family. Their peaceful disposition and relentless attempts at being lap dogs will just make them a joy to be around. They're very people orientated and will even go as far as trying to defend your home and family should they feel the need to. And that will be the few times they will bark. They don't tend to bark for the sake of it, but you can expect them to be vocal with sassy back chat by grumbling, which will come from a good-natured place, I promise. The German nobles created this breed by developing mastiff-type dogs. They needed the size and muscle mass to take down wild boars. 
In addition to this, along the way, greyhound jeans were added for speed and the wolfhound was also introduced for their height. The dogs were created from this combination with fearsome hunters with the physical stature to intimidate anything that came across its path. But to create its lovable, larger-than-life breed we know today, they had to learn to become human companions. And we can thank the noblemen that fancied the breeds as formidable guard dogs of both their property and family members. So, through decades of living with people instead of hunting, their personality shifted to become affectionate and people oriented But they still maintained that defensive streak. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you're new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Great Dane channel.